I am here guys in uh, the church because my daughter is having her confirmation today so I will attend with her so the mass is starting Confirmation is a Catholic sacrament of mature Christian commitment and a deepening of baptismal gifts. It is one of the three sacraments of initiation for Catholics. It is most often associated with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. In the sacrament of confirmation, the baptized person is sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit and is strengthened for service to the body of Christ. The prophets of the Old Testament foretold God's Spirit would rest upon the Messiah to sustain His mission. This is my girl, my pretty little girl, but now a big girl. Why do Catholics choose to be confirmed? The Code of the Canon Law for the Church summarizes why you should be confirmed. The sacrament of confirmation strengthens the baptized and obliges them for more firmly to be witnesses of Christ by word and deed and to spread and defend the faith. And why it is so special? It is necessary because it enriches the person with the strength of the Holy Spirit to build up the church and to be witness of Christ to others. What happens during confirmation? During the celebration of confirmation, the bishop extends his hands over those to be confirmed and calls upon God. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and guide. Then, each person to be confirmed is anointed with chrism of the forehead as the bishop says. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Why do Christians need to be confirmed? It enables a baptized person to confirm the promises made on their behalf at baptism. It also a sign of full membership to the Christian community. In Christian confirmation, a baptized person believes that he or she is receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit. So, what age is confirmation for Catholic? As early as age 7 years old, any Catholic can be confirmed. but most of the time around 13 years old. What is the process of Catholic confirmation? Performed by a bishop, the confirmation rituals involves laying on of hands as well as anointing with the holy oils. In addition, the person chooses new name which is generally the name of a saint and is added to the Christian name after being confirmed by the bishop. What is the main purpose of confirmation? It helps the person remain faithful to his or her baptismal commitment to witness to Christ and to serve others. The gifts of the Holy Spirit associated with confirmation are strength or virtues that Christian living requires if it is to be fruitful and complete. What are the seven steps of confirmation? First, the reading of the scripture pertaining to the confirmation. Then, the presentation of the candidates. You are called by name or by group and stand before the bishop. Then there will be homily, then renewal of baptismal promises, laying of hands, anointing with chrism, and prayer of the faithful. That are the seven steps of confirmation. <laughs> Sampai jumpa di video selanjutnya.
Santa Magdaya o Pagdumaya o Pagdumaya o Pagdumaya o Pagdumaya o Santa Maria o Pagdumaya o San Dios o San José de la Habana o por su mga apóstoles o San Caixa de la Biblia o San Isidro kang sa tanan ng mga santos na pahamuro sa iyo ang isipana na si Jesus Cristo. Bye.